Okay, let's go over the list for the bachelor party. Got directions to the hotel in Vegas? Check. Copy of the groom's favorite movie, Forrest Rump. <laughs> they didn't have Forrest Rump, so I got Booty and the Beast. Marion, what's a bachelor party? Well, Austin, you remember your ninth birthday party? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like that. You have some cake, play some games, and chase the girls around. Sounds like fun. Can I go? No, no. <laughs> I mean, it's all the way in Las Vegas, and you wouldn't like it. The only reason I'm going is because I'm the best man. I never really have fun at these things. The limo! The limo! The limo's on fire! We don't need no water! Let the whole limo burn! Burn, Billy the Driver! <laughs> Once upon a time... call this family meeting maybe he wants to buy me a car i'm almost 16 don't get your hopes up tiffany let's wait till sasha turns 16 and see what happens <laughs> hi sweetie ah uh, well uh, i guess you're all wondering why i asked you to come here we live here milton <laughs> all right uh, Anyway, Nana's coming to town for the weekend. I thought we could all spend some time together. Oh, that's great. I always loved your grandmother. But I thought she'd have hard feelings towards me because of the divorce. Well, you don't have to worry about that, Jackie. She doesn't blame me? She doesn't know. Milton, we've been divorced two years. You never told your grandmother? Uh, well, she's always said we were her favorites and she's got that bad heart. I was afraid the divorce would kill her. So what are you saying? You want to tell her here and watch her drop dead in my living room? No, 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 Jackie. I just thought, uh, just maybe, just for the weekend, we could pretend things were the way they used to be. You mean lying to Nana? It's not lying, son. It's sparing Nana's feelings. This could be the weekend that puts the me in Miata. <laughs> so what does Sasha have to say about all this? Uh, nothing. I treated Sasha to the spa for the weekend. Jackie, I didn't see any reason to drag her into this web of deceit. She's so young and innocent. What about me and Tiffany, Dad? We're young, and I'm innocent. <laughs> it's not about us, it's about Nana. Now, her bus tour arrives first thing tomorrow morning, so what is it going to be? That depends. Did you bring your checkbook, Daddy Warbuck? <laughs> Departed brother Daryl. As you embark on your married life, may you have health, wealth, and children who look like your wife. Hey, remember now, I'm still the team equipment manager. You keep talking like that, I'll tell everybody you're real cup side. Okay, now on a serious note, Daryl, Patty is a wonderful woman, and I'm proud to be your best man. Of course, anytime I hang around you guys, I'm always the best man. So yeah. <laughs> to hear a monologue and go down the street and see Jay Leno. <laughs> Bring out them high-priced interpretive dancers. Yeah. 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 That's right, man. This Rat Pack needs some cheese. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right, gentlemen, gentlemen. Live from the Vegas Strip, I bring you Miss Lady Luck and Mrs. Roulette Johnson. Yeah. Why we call this the Vegas Strip. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Marion. We thought we'd surprise you. Patty, it, it's bad luck to see the groom before the wedding. In some cases, it can almost be fatal. <laughs> Daryl! <laughs> Patty, I was just getting uh, fitted for my uh, tuxedo. You told me it was going to be just you and the guys. Who are they? Uh, Marion, who are these people? Uh, housekeeping. They came by to put those little 
Mints are the pillows. <laughs> to see you and look at you have you lost weight <laughs> well since i've seen you last i've lost about 165 pounds <laughs> Hi, Nana. is that my little tiffany oh <laughs> and who is this big man Now, I know how much you like going to the video arcade, so here's a shiny new dime. Thank you, Nana. Mom and Dad are still happily married. Uh, the kids, why don't you take Nana's bags upstairs and don't say anything else? You know, Nana's had a long trip. Well, I want to know about you, too. Oh, Nana, everything is fine. We're still so much in love. <laughs> yes, Nana. We're still married. <laughs> what happened to that nice big house you had the last time I visited? You know, the one with the pool and that nice little woman who used to work like a dog. <laughs> Nana, that was me. <laughs> Nana, we're just renting this place temporarily until the damage is repaired from the earthquake. fire. <laughs> the earthquake. Fire. Must, Must fly. Fly. Now, come on, guys. Is this any way to act on the happiest day of your lives? The key to a healthy relationship is communication. Now, I want you two to open up. I could kill you, Daryl. Hey, none of this would have happened if you hadn't been snooping around like Cleopatra Jones. <laughs> See, you still have strong feelings for each other. Now serving happy couple number 47. Hey, Daryl, I'm begging you. Please, don't let one incident ruin the opportunity for a chance at a lifetime of happiness. Besides, the bachelor party was my idea. If anyone should take the blame, it should be me. Marion's right. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Let's just put this behind us. And I love you, Patty. You're probably going to be the best wife I ever had. Now, serving happy couple number 48. Great, that's us. Let's go. Come on. Uh, what do you mean, us? You're not invited. Marion, I can't let you drag me down anymore. You tell him, honey. Hey, Eddie, you want to be my best man? Oh, man, I'll be anything you want me to be as long as Roulette can catch the bouquet. Uh, now, we got to hustle up because uh, Roulette's on the clock. <laughs> Come on, Plate, let's get out of here. This place is bad news. I can't leave now. This machine's treating me better than my date to the junior prom. <laughs> <laughs> Should have put a nickel in her ear. You know, Jackie, you really don't have to go through all this. I can sleep in the same bed without touching you. I know that, Milton. You did it for the last five years of our marriage. <laughs> well, you could have met me halfway by shaving your legs. <laughs> It just warms my heart to see you two so much in love after all these years. I know what you mean, Nana. Sometimes I just want to smack him just to make sure he's real. Well, don't you mind me, lovebirds. I'm going in there and get me a glass of milk before bed. And you can just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> A Marion, who are you? That's none of your business. Where did you get that key? Excuse me, ma'am. All I want to do is get out of these clothes and go to bed. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! Ah! Marion, what are you doing here? Some old woman just blinded me. <laughs> is she still here? <laughs> Then what was that? 
my travel size Aquanet. Marion, I don't think you've met Nana. Nana is Milton's grandmother. This is Marion. He's our housekeeper slash caregiver. Hello, Marion. <laughs> Hi. You know, Jackie, you could have told me you were having house guests. It's bad enough Milton's car is blocking my spot. Don't do it again, Milton, okay? <laughs> Boy, he's as sassy as that maid on the Jeffersons. Nana, uh, uh, let's have your milk upstairs. Uh, now, Milton, I don't want to butt in, but do you think it's wise to have that young man around? What do you mean? I have to get you a mirror? <laughs> she thinks you two are still married? Well, what's she gonna say when he goes home to Sasha? Don't tell me he's staying. You don't understand. Nana has a heart condition. It's only for the weekend her bus tour leaves Sunday night. Look, Jackie, I'm not a part of this and I'm not gonna lie for you. Okay, I understand. If Nana finds out and it kills her, I guess it was meant to be. <laughs> Maybe it's better for Austin and Tiffany to experience the loss of a loved one at such a young, tender age. It'll toughen them up for the long road ahead. <laughs> Have to remember to get Austin a little black suit. <laughs> this is a new low. Even for you, Jackie. I know. But did it work? Look. For our care, you could tell her you two are Porgy and Bess. <laughs> now, I'm going to my room to sleep through till Monday. Okay, Monday. 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 <laughs> Good morning, Marion. Morning. Something wrong? Yes, it's 5 a.m. and you haven't even mopped the kitchen floor. <laughs> this is all true. Nice talking to you. In case I don't see you again, have a nice trip. <laughs> Come on, rise and shine, get cracking. Don't you have anything to mop this floor with? I will in about 10 seconds. <laughs> now that's more like it. Now, what do you clean with? Excuse me, Nana. Sunday is my day off. Look, that back talk might work with sweet little Jackie, but Nana comes from the old school, and we don't play that. <laughs> now you go put on some pants and take some of that attitude out on the floor. <laughs> now we know who Darth Vader was under that helmet. <laughs> What time is service this morning? What service? Did somebody die? Church service. Oh, church. Of course, church. Oh, we never miss church. We love church, don't we, children? Oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll supervise Marion with the cleanup while you all get dressed for church. Okay, come on, kids. That's going to be late. We don't want to be late. Mommy, where's the church around here? Be quiet. Just get me the yellow pages. All right, Marion. You can eat your breakfast now. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> Young man, why are you sitting at the table with your hat on? <laughs> That's where my head is. <laughs> well, take it off. You have no way of knowing this, but I don't take my hat off. <laughs> Then I'll take it off for you. Na Nana. Mm. With all due respect, don't touch the hat. Fine. Then you won't eat. <laughs> all right. I'll eat later. Not in this house, you won't. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It means you are fired, you big, no mannered, disrespectful, pat leg rolled up, hat wearing heathen. You can't fire me. The heck I can't. 
Where's the broom? <laughs> okay, get out. 